Hey there everybody, thanks for joining me for another One Man Review. Today I have a new book from Fanagraphics. I, I don't think it's out in stores as of the time of the recording, but will be within a week. I pre-ordered this during their Fanabuck sale, so it came in the mail a little early. But this is a book I've been waiting for before it even had a name or was announced. Uh, ever since I read Dear Mother and Other Stories by Banu Pratap that came out from Strangers Publishing, I'm an enormous fan of Banu's, uh, really early in the history of the channel. Banu's probably one of the first people that I was able to get an interview with. Um, love the way he thinks. He just seems like a fascinating mind, uh, amazing artist, beautiful person. And I've been really, really looking forward to his next collection of stories, especially knowing that a lot of this is going to be in color. I'm so glad that Banu's working with Fantagraphics. Um, he was someone that was like, man, this guy's going to be huge, and I'm, I'm glad he's already up in the major leagues uh, where he should be at the tippy top of the major leagues, cha changing the game for comics. This is a collection of short stories. Banu's work is very abstract. The, you can see here, that's part of what I love about his work. It, it's got a lot of body horror in it, like all of these morphine of the bodies. It can lean into grotesqueness, uh, but in this volume, there's actually not much. There's a few poops and there's a few like warped looking genitals, but it's not as brutal of a read as Dear Mother's it is. Um, I think Banu's finding a way to get the same sense of dis-ease just in the, the compositions, you know, beautiful composition, beautiful color all throughout. His sense of just shape and color and placement, line, uh, rhythm, everything that goes into making beautiful pieces of art is, yeah, like on, on overdrive. This is all just such beautiful stuff. Um, but you can see there's still a very dense atmosphere of discomfort in a lot of this. The dialogue tends to be pretty poetic as well, um, but you, you work your way into the mind space of the characters very clearly. This is printed on a really cool paper. It has It has a real textural quality to it. Um, it feels uncoated. It feels like it's probably recycled paper. So there's lots of little bits of like fiber and material in them, which then change very slightly. You know, you can see the, the ink gripping onto that. Um, so it has a very material, real feel to the print quality of it that I, I really appreciate and really enjoy. And having it be not pure white does something really nice with Banu's colors as well. There are also some like little one or two page story things in here that seem to be more just like out of a sketchbook. He's working with a, some kind of pen and ink drawing. Sometimes it looks like ballpoint pen. Sometimes it looks like a brush or a dip pen. Uh, so you can see how he thinks more in like the rough in the sketch. This doesn't look so thought over and prepared as these. I really like that. But this shows my biggest complaint and I it, it bums me out because like you made it to the big leagues. You're with Fanagraphics and... They fucking botched the print job. I don't know what they're doing, but this is all printed as, as dot tone. It's not just printed as black and white line art. Um, so everything's fuzzy, especially in the black and white stuff. And with, when Banu's got just such beautiful like little feathering he's doing, that's lost in, in the printing. And the lines get a little bit thicker too. So there's a little bit of fill in. A lot of the really beautiful, probably gray stuff that was going on in here got adjusted out, it looks like. So kind of bummed about that. I, Fanagraphics usually does better, but I've been noticing a lot lately that they have trouble with their black and white line art. I don't know if the artists they work with just don't know and they're sending them files that aren't right and then Fanagraphics isn't bothering to go back and ask them for better scans or what's going on there. That same problem applies to the color work, but it's not as bad because the fuzziness actually adds this tiny bit of softness that I think works really well with the color palettes and compositions Banu has, but it really bothers me in the black and white stuff. It's also on the um, the lettering as far as I can tell, like those weren't printed black and white, those are printed with the halftone pattern, which is just unnecessary. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but otherwise fantastic book. Give you a sense of some of the dialogue here. The wave that fell on me as I thought of you has filled my lungs with water. Under my skin, I am crushed. So a lot of despair. Obviously, these are uncomfortable feelings that Banu's dealing with. But I really like his um, sense of poetry, both in his imagery and in his dialogue. 
just had to show this spread because, oh my God, I absolutely love it. It, it gives you another sense of like just how phenomenal Banu is as an abstractionist. But you can also follow through. Like there's this character tied to the pole and he's being pulled up and there's this character dreaming and, you know, like you, you can make sense of all these stories. But there are influences from artists like Nicholas Nade. I, I think, uh, you know, a lot of the people from that are being put out by Editions Metier. I can't think of all their names off the top of my head. J Jerome Dubois, I think, has is one of the artists. A bunch of artists in the, that do this kind of thing, you know, deal with just the abstraction. And I really like that Banu's taking that. He's taking a lot of the stuff that I see from Spain, like Maria Medem and Christine de Dura. Um, and he's integrating that into his own his own thing. Like there's a lot that feels within what's popular contemporary in illustration, but is off in his own lane as well. Uh, and then making images like this, just beautiful. Here's another one of those more sketchbook ones. You can see it's all done with like a blue ballpoint pen. And again, just the no no attempt to um, adjust this or sharpen it or do anything for it. To it for print it's just kind of a fuzzy bad representation of a sketchbook page which is unfortunate for Banu some more like with a little bit more of the uncomfortable like body horror stuff where you've got tissues and obviously someone being tied to a ceiling fan with their viscera but the colors the compositions I mean this is like someone opening their mouth and screaming with their eyelids being pulled back and Ah, it's just, it's amazing, amazing, amazing imagery all throughout. This one here looks like a little bit better printing. Maybe it's just how it was made, uh, but it gives you a sense of the power that Banu can have in black and white as well. Love this face. I wish I could be that expressive of a cartoonist. I'm so tied to basic shapes and what things look like, uh, and I just absolutely envy people who can push a form so far, but still keep it like this hand. That thumb makes no goddamn sense, but it still reads as a thumb, and I'm I'm super envious of this. Um, I mean this with with the greatest amount of compliment in the world. Is Banu can draw like Mid Journey made images when it first came out, when things were all fucked up, and it was like like really nailing the archetypal imagery, but getting all the surface shit wrong. Like Banu has figured out to wield that power stylize it to be his own um you know still keep the anatomy right but distorted in just the right way and it's it's phenomenal stuff here's another one you can see i i'm, I'm also like keeping away from the more narrative pages so just because i have these pages that seem a little more non sequitur um, that doesn't mean that these books don't have a narrative component to it and these do fit into the narrative you can see the same character here uh, but it's really actually pretty cool to see Banu do some more realistic, less abstract drawing as well. Like, I think these are both pretty realistic relative to his other stuff. Very observational, but still grounded in that same sense of abstract composition. And that helps someone like me, who's more prone to observational drawing, like, see the steps from moving to from something like this to something like this, something like that. Um, and uh, that's probably one of the reasons I love Banu's work so much. So I cannot recommend this book enough. I cannot recommend Dear Mother and Other Stories enough. I cannot recommend Banu himself as an interesting character enough. Please go watch our interview with him. Um, he has so many fascinating things to say about his work. And I'm so excited and by this book and grateful to have it. And I can't wait for the next one, Banu.
comadek va fer si da la fatta stendre i filgret ur da brut mi ask vet jeg standa i tir i trasit har bort mare Come on, don't forget.